Ba -ba 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 -ba. Hey, hi everybody, and welcome to our BB Can live feed spoiler show. What do we do on this show, John? We uh, talk about BB spoilers and what's going on in the feeds and the show and with the house guests and with uh, everybody. That's right. Yes, we do. And if you want to see any of these shows back, you can head over to yourrealityrecaps.com slash bbcan. Not just these shows, shows we did on past seasons, too, like BB Can 4 and 3 and 2 and 1, and interviews with every single house guest. All of them. Hey, John, you know what this is normally the part where I do? Is talk about Amazon. But I'm not, because we hate them what? still. We, we don't, don't like, like them. them. We're not using them, and we don't like them. What we are going to say is, since you people are watching in you now, become a fan at yourrealityrecaps.com slash you now. Or, if you're watching this back later, that's where you go to watch them live. Make sure you become a fan over there. Lastly, if you want to help support our shows, you should become a patron at yourrealityrecaps.com slash patron. You get access to patron-only shows, prize giveaways just for patron, the patron-only Facebook group, and it really helps support our shows. Of course, you can make a one-time donation at yourrealityrecaps.com slash PayPal, too. Great ways to help support us, John. People are very supportive. So supportive. They're the super supportiest. You know what like else I... Super duperist. They are. They're the super duperist. I also should just throw in, we still like Audible. So if you want a free audiobook, check out yourrealityrecaps.com slash Audible. <laughs> They're still nice people who appreciate what we do. And you should get a free audiobook from them, actually, too. And if you're watching in YouTube, thumbs up and subscribe. Oh, my God. Okay, I don't know if you are hearing that, John. What is it? Did is you it not part? hear that? Oh, my God. That scared the living shit. What was it? Okay, now, this is not going to make sense to the people watching the playback of the show. I literally thought John just started ripping one. Because it started out like... I can't even do it. It was like a fart noise, and then it just kept getting louder and louder, and then all of a sudden, airplanes of money started falling down. <laughs> Apparently now, I get noises from the um, You Now donations live that happen in our uh, chat, John. Which has never happened before and just scared the shit out of me. <laughs> so why is it always me? What do you mean, why is it always you? Like, I'm the one with all the noises. It's never you. Well, it was farting, and I was like, I can't believe John is farting that loudly. That's rude. <laughs> that is rude. Like, we hear it. Like, you were hey, making... Hey, when you got to get it, it's, it's poison. You got to get it out. Look, the chat room is saying it's also the first time they heard noises, too. So, boy, I can't you, wait you... to have house guests on now. <laughs> I love Kelly 77. Did you have Taco Bell? Yeah, I, I know. I don't eat Taco Bell. Eric does. That's why I thought the fart noises were coming from you. I know, I am a fan of Taco Bell. Well, look, that's why I say, if you guys want to be part of all the fun, and thank you very much, Leslie, for that, and being the number one fan, it's just another reason to subscribe and watch mm -hmm. You Now and be part of all the You Now fun. But, I was saying, so thumb, thumbs up and subscribe in YouTube, and five-star rating and nice review in iTunes, but John, let's get to BB Can. Let's get there. Because, you know, your favorite was on on Friday... <laughs> Johnny. I love Johnny, and I actually watched your show. I know. I actually in the chat room. I know. You were there. You were watching. Now, when we left off, we want to know what you thought of this. The last time anybody has been watching Big Brother, the house was battling it out for a very physical HOH. Who, who, who are you thinking is going to win this one? Who are you thinking is going to pull out the win on this step aerobic, kayaking, carrying boulders challenge of an HOH that we're going to see tonight? I'm hoping Dylan. You're hoping Dylan? Is that because you think he's the big caveman and so he'd be able to move rocks well? Absolutely, but I'm scared Dimitri's going to get it. Let me ask you this. Uh, if Dylan got it, who do you think he put up? I think he would put up Bruno and Kevin. Do you? Well, guess what, John? Yeah. It was not Dylan. It was Dimitri's that one. Uh, and he, oh, that's right. Dylan could even play. That's right. <laughs> he, I was letting you go with that. We were just living in a fantasy world. Um, and, but you are correct. He did put up Kevin and Bruno. So do you think that's... He did. The, now, do you think that's his noms or do you think it's Ica's? 
Um, I think it's Ika's. You do. What do you... I think Dylan and Dimitri are kind of have this little thing together. I think that, you know, we, we saw on the show that Dylan is not happy with Bruno. So that's kind of severed. It's gone. And so I think he put up Kevin and, and Bruno. Uh, yeah. I, I... He would have. It's all Ika. All day. Our town is absolutely correct. I'm surprised. I mean, I know the house is not fully on board with Ika and Demetra anymore, that they're realizing that they are a couple that are always going to put each other first. But I'm just kind of surprised it has taken them this long. You know, I was even hearing Dre the other day saying like, you know what? I love Ika, but no, got to break the couple up. I'm just surprised it's taken so long. I'm surprised they've, they've been a couple for this long. I mean, we're half, we're over halfway through the season now, mm -hmm. so, and they've, they're still there and they're still together, and what, it took Cindy hidden on the couch on the last episode to go, I'm over here! I saw that! <laughs> okay, now, let me, I want to involve the chat, because I want to involve the chat uh, more on this show. So, chat, I thought we could all play a fun game. I thought we could play a fun game of how long do we think I can enter meet you real last postseason. So, John, what do you think? Well, I'm looking at what the um, uh, chat room is saying. What do you, how long do you think uh, Ika and Dimitri's relationship lasts postseason? Oh, I think it lasts for five seconds. Really? I don't think it's going to last at all. Wow. I am actually surprised um, a little bit right at the beginning. The chat room is agreeing with you. Dancing Amy says uh -huh. zero days. Uh-huh. Um, somebody said a few weeks. I forgot who. It's scrolling so fast. It, it, it'll last a few weeks if they, like, text. But oh. if they're seeing each other, no, it's not going to last at all. Ika, you know, we're, we're learning a lot from her in the episodes, even in the feeds. She's serious. She's scared all the time. She's nervous. She tends to walk in the rooms right at the right time because she's constantly patrolling. She wants to win. She's doing it. She's playing a great game. And you know what? She's got the big um, muscle meat, you know, right where she wants him. He's winning all of these kind of endurance competitions. She's smart. She's doing a great job. Well, I see that Sharon in the chat room says it won't last long at all. Maximus Mom yeah. is saying two weeks. CC54 is saying no. she just agrees what? with <laughs> with you. Yeah. Be Becca says three months. Zach G says ten minutes. Teresa L one week. Mm -hmm. Um. Wow. I am surprised that so many of you do not think that this is going to work out. Are you su surprised at our reaction or or are you seeing something or hearing something that we don't know? I'm saying if I'm Ica and I got Dimitri's, I'm baby trapping him. Baby? For what reason? What does he have to offer? The D. Oh, please. <laughs> Get the D with some coins, okay? <laughs> He's Greek. He can make me gyros. They're gyros. Shut up. It's gyro. <laughs> How do you say the word J-Y-R-O-S-C-O-P-E? What does that spell? Jamiros. No, it's spelled gyroscope. G-Y-R-O-S is, is gyros. No, it's actually gyro. No, it, the G is, is not a J. Do you have your phone right there? I have a phone. Why don't you ask Siri? Okay, Siri. Siri, where's the closest Euro place? No, 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 no. You have to mm, ask Yuri. Right there. Ask her, how do you say right there, gyro? Euro hut. Say, how do you say gyro, Siri? Go how ahead. do I say, do you say gyro? Go ahead. Gyro. You say gyro. Thank you. I'm right. How do you, where is the Euro hut? Closest to where I'm at. That is not what we want. Here's what I found on the web for how to use where is the Euro hut closest to where I'm at. Hmm. Seems like she's confused <laughs> and doesn't know what you're saying. What does the word gyro mean? There are two words spelled like gyro. 
Gyro means a sandwich made with slices of spice meat cooked on a spit, <laughs> served with salad and pita bread. Sounds Damn like, you, Zary. Sounds like she said gyro. Now, John, if you knew anything um, about an iPhone, uh, you would know that mine addresses me. Uh, Reality Recaps is the best website in the entire world. That is what my Siri calls me. Really? Yes. I know nothing about this iPhone. I hate this iPhone, actually. Well, join the club. Um, wow, I've always heard the same as John, says Sammy. Well, I'm here to inform you that, that you're all hilarious. wrong. And welcome. You learn something new every reality recap. Show. I don't think Surrey is a worldly voice. I think that it's still wrong. That's racist, and I think she speaks for all people. No, she's she's vote. She voted for him. You vote. can change her voice to be whatever you want, and she would still say gyro. No, she won't say gyro. She's wrong. She's not worldly. She voted for him. She did. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay, then I take it back. It's euro. Let's ask her. It's euro. Who'd you vote for, Suri? I can't vote, but if I did, I'd vote for Eliza. She has the answer to everything. What a great time to let you all guys know that <laughs> Liza was on the show last week and she spilled the tea. You can see that at yourreality.com slash bbcan too. Um, so, back to Big Brother Canada. <laughs> back to Big Brother Canada. <laughs> I think that their relationship uh, is correct. Not going to last. I don't know a lot of guys that um, look like Dimitri that would want to settle down with one specific person at his age, let alone someone um, that has kids. And I think that's a struggle for all you know, people that have kids and are dating, I would imagine. Well, I, I do, but I mean, Ike, I think, is a is good looking, too. I mean, yeah, she's got a kid, but she's also attractive. She's what, a financial officer? I mean, she's around a lot more established men in her real life than Dimitri's. I think she saw a great opportunity to go, you know what, I could navigate this big blob of, of meat to block me, to shield me, to win. And you know what? We watched how she wove her web and totally trapped him. And why would she want that outside of the house? There's so much more. I'm not taking away from Ike at all. I'm saying it's Dimitri no. who's the dum dum. I'm saying Dimitri is well, like oh. he's enjoying himself. <laughs> right. He's enjoyed himself. <laughs> oh, she's so pretty. Oh, oh, boobies, boobies. <laughs> that sounds nothing like him. Well, that's what I hear. Okay. <laughs> um, Nelly Mama says when Dimitri's. Well, I just kick my ass when he meets me. <laughs> <laughs> well, Nelly Mama says it seems like Dimitri <laughs> is going to be the one to settle the gyro hero uh, argument. So we'll have to oh, pause totally. it. Until totally till we talk to him. Uh, Maximus' mom also says in the chat room she completely disagrees. She thinks that their relationship will last. Who said this? Maximus' mom. Oh, she must be drinking already. I know that's what I'm talking about. Um, wasn't there some drama over Dimitri's Twitter? Says Violet Blue. Um, I didn't see any Dimitri Twitter. I Neither. Hold on, let me go to my live feed correspondence. Amy, Steffi, <laughs> Amy. was there any drama Amy. with Dimitri's Twitter? I know, she's mine on my cooking show as well, Dancing Amy. Chat, <laughs> chat room. Have you even talked to Dancing Amy other than in the show? <laughs> You're just using her? No. You have she... to find your own friend. <laughs> she's wonderful. She's uh, she saves me so many times. <laughs> Dancing Amy says, I only know of preseason. Oh, I do know of the preseason. If you're talking the preseason uh, drama, yes, preseason. Uh, apparently, Demetrius is, you know, maybe not a fan of the gays. Okay. He's been known to make a homophobic tweet. But look. Oh, that was preseason. I remember that. We talked about that. And here's the thing. Big Brother is all about exposing people to new things and different situations. And not that it excuses anything that Demetrius uh -huh. did in the past, but maybe he's just never had a chance to be around gay people. And now he's around an out gay person, William, a closeted gay person, Kevin, by curious questioning, probably. 
Well, you Dylan. know, I think it's I think it's really odd with guys like Dimitri who are so into their looks and so into their bodies. Like he's looking at men's bodies it's more gay. than women's. It's gay, and I just think it's you know weird. I think it's and, gay, and then to be like, oh no, I like women, but oh yeah, look at this. Oh yeah. I think it's oh gay. oh yeah. It's like guys oh, yeah. that watch wrestling. It's yeah. gay. Or just shave every little piece of hair. It's like gay. You, you touch, yeah. It's gay. You're touching men more than you're touching women. Seriously. Thank you, Dimitri. Now that we solved this, we're gonna have to have. Jackson. We're gonna have that. to have. We're gonna have to have your sister on Dimitri's <laughs> and get to the bottom of this one too. Yeah, take, um, out your, take out your headphones. <laughs> he, uh, Steffi says he lives in a small town, supposedly with not a oh, lot of go. different type of people. So yeah, but we saw in Survivor after what happened with Zeke and what's her name, the police cop was like, "I live in a small town and I'm never around any of this, and I don't mind, and I love it." Come on. Oh God. We really Canada too. Come on. Okay, look. We Expect really more. We really cannot spend more than thirty than a minute. I promise everyone, we're not going to spend more than one minute on this. But I do have an exclusive piece of information that I don't know where to stick, and I have a feeling most people also watch Survivor. Maybe this is not new to you, but I heard this was an exclusive that I may have got at an event I was at recently. So, for all of you Survivor fans, I heard the reason that there was no vote during Zeke's eviction had nothing to do with, like, the drama or them all being shocked by all of it. But apparently, when What's-His-Face outed um, Zeke, he broke the rules of Survivor, um, and that's why he was uh, you, eliminated. They voted before. him out. You know that. They all said, do we all vote Jeff out? And everybody said, yep. Sure. So. That's what we saw. I'm great. And what I'm telling. production again? Are you talking about production? And what I'm telling all of you, and that I'm sneaking into the middle of this show, is... He wasn't voted out. He broke yes. the rules and was removed from the game. That's all I'm saying. What, what rule did he break? You are not allowed to use a person's sexual orientation, race, or religion as strategy. Where are those rules at? I don't know. And now back to Big Brother Canada, because I didn't know where to stick that anywhere publicly. You're welcome. Um... <clears throat> Yeah, Jeff said we don't need to vote. I'm aware of what happened. Don't listen to John. See, you... We don't need to vote, right? Nope. Jeff's going home. Bye. Right. They don't. We need... all vote Jeff. Yep. They don't need to vote because they don't need to write it down. Is because what Jeff he meant. Broke the... I'm I... telling you because I might have had conversations with people who were there. Maybe allegedly. <laughs> Would you just listen to me? <laughs> <laughs> Back to Big Brother Who's Canada. Roger Bart. John, you look like the actor Roger Bart. Probably someone who doesn't listen. <laughs> A Greek that eats euros. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, so... <clears throat> yes, he's not Holly, but thank you. At least all of you are. Uh, allegedly. Allegedly, allegedly this. Like, al like Roger. Allegedly that, allegedly everything. So... You better be cute. Right, well, you let us know later. Oh, I like him. He was on, um... <laughs> he was on what? I love him. Thank you. I okay, will there that. are going to be people that are watching the show, like me, who have OCD and are now going to want to know what this person is because you spent two minutes on it. So can you show us what the person looks like? What does he look like? Let us see who this person is that you think that you look like. So we can go back to BB Can. Uh, you're on crack. That looks nothing like you. Um, I know who you're talking about. No, he does not look do, like yeah. you. He doesn't look like you. You're better looking than him, if that makes you feel better. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, have you never said that to me before? <laughs> I'm just trying to get us back John to BB Can. John is lying. Last night. Just trying to steer the <laughs> ship back. Um, so. It's Andre. Dimitri and um Ica controlling what happens <laughs> this week is where we are and we know that William has the secret power of veto so where did you fall John a lot of this theory and speculation is if he uses the veto 
can right. he go back up as a replacement? No. Right. Or um, if he wins another veto, will he be able to use both vetoes is yes. what a lot of us were questioning. Well, um, Big Brother Canada, I think a few days ago, put out the official rules. Mm hmm. Uh, the official stipulations to his POV. Um, if he wins two POVs, he is allowed to use both. It was yesterday, okay? And if he um, if he used it, oh God, I think he could be the replacement. It wasn't saying that he was kept safe. It just said, it won't be revealed. So I believed if he used the secret one, he could. Oh, because it's not public. So right. He... Right. What? what? Mm -hmm. Then why would you use it at all? It did not give him safety. Right. Okay. Thank God. I remember that correctly. I know. Why would you? Well, he felt pretty safe. Um, I think he knew there was no chance he was going up and there was no chance um, Dre was going up. Based on the climate of the house, it was very clear to him that Karen probably would be the replacement at that point. But, I mean, he still had to win HOH. Uh, not HOH, POV. Joseph, I couldn't have said it better myself. What did Joseph say? Why, for the love of God, did William bother chasing the veto if, if he had the secret veto? Well, exactly. So, so spoiler alert on our spoiler show, what we'll probably <laughs> see on Wednesday. I have a feeling, so tonight we'll probably see the HOH winner, Dimitri. We'll see his noms, Kevin and Bruno. Then Wednesday show, we'll see the POV. And we'll see... But why wouldn't you just use the regular veto? I couldn't use him. He, he would be safe. And then he'd at least have the secret veto for next week, right? Because he has until next week to use it, right? Dancing Amy? The I'm secret veto? I was, I, well, here's my, the sentence I was going with was, no. William won the POV as well is what we'll see on Wednesday. And okay, no. So today, this week was the last week he had to use it. Correct. He only had two weeks. Last week was the first week. Ah, this is his last chance okay. to use it. I'm getting it. my weeks mixed up. So... Technically, you real uh, technically you realize <laughs> we're doing great today, aren't we? <laughs> well, I have an excuse. What's yours? Um, I thought the show was starting an hour later. <laughs> <That's fine. laughs> Sorry. Um, uh, he could remove both people now at this point. He if could... he wanted to, he could publicly remove Kevin, privately remove Bruno, and force Ika and Dimitri to nominate, well, I say Ike and Dimitri, but, you know, Dimitri, to nominate two new people. Well, I think if, like, you know, Karen and Jackie were the noms, I think maybe he would have used both vetoes. And, of course, Dimitri wasn't the head of household. If there was any way you could get both Dimitri and Ike on the block at the same time, I think definitely he could have used both. But I think he's got to kind of play it a little safe with them right now. It, it's not that right move. Right now... Unfortunately, Kevin and Bruno, after losing Cindy with an S, they've lost the number. They're the ones kind of in everybody's sights. And why draw attention to yourself? It's not the right time. I think, you know, I think William, you know, should use the regular veto and keep himself safe and not the secret one. But you, we don't know, right? Or we know at the end oh, of the Oh, I show. know. Okay, you know. Oh, I know all. Okay. Um, if uh, Stacked in Florida says, I think William wants Bruno to go so he can have Kevin all to himself. That's an interesting theory. Well, I will say William does not use the veto which he won, the public veto. Okay. He does use the secret veto to remove Kevin. And the replacement is Karen. Mom? Yeah. Now, I want to back up for a second because we have to talk about the fallout today from Karen being the replacement. But I don't want to get there yet. Let's rewind <laughs> for a hot second. Damn it. Damn let's, it. Let's rewind for a hot second because, I mean, this was the smartest play for William. But I also feel like... It also wasn't. K 
Karen saw William come out of that room. She knows that William was the one that had that power. But that was like last week. So much has happened. No, I think she knows. She's barfed. She's all this stuff has happened. Mm, she's barfed. Yes, I don't even understand that scene at all. Um, everyone is sick of her. T- today has been amazing on the feeds, but um, Kevin getting off. I don't know that that is is good for William's game because all it did was take the target from Bruno and Kevin, and now make the new target. Kevin and William. Yeah. He just gave himself a new target, which I think Mm -hmm. was dumb. In all honesty, if I was William, I almost think I would have used it on Kevin. I mean, used it on Bruno. Right. To keep um, someone going after Ika and Dimitri and Dre and kind of maybe... Uh, Karen, Jackie, Bru- leaving Bruno in, I feel, would have been smarter for Kevin's, uh, for William's So game. all of a sudden, there, um, William is going to announce, I, I'm not using the power of the veto. And then what? The big brother voice says, oh, I there's been a secret power and somebody has used the secret veto. And Kevin, you're safe this week. Yeah, pretty much. And he's off. Oh, Demetrius, now you have to make another nomination. And nobody knows. He's just like, oh, I, Karen, I guess, because why not Jackie? If they want Bruno to go home, anybody that sits next to Jackie goes home, right? Right. Well, why not Jackie? Indeed. Why Why not Jackie? Um, I think Bruno's the target. Well, okay, so here. here's yeah, a few things. Here, here's a few things, first of all. William told Kevin. Right after when the, oh. feeds, when the feeds came back, William, I couldn't really hear exactly if William said the words, because, you know, he's all very like, but he made it very clear to Kevin in the bathroom, um... I'm the one that used that power on you. And Kevin kept and Kevin said to him, Do you want me to take the heat off you? Do you want me to make the house think that I'm the one that used it to take the heat off you? And William was like, Yes, please do that. Yes. So I don't know, but then yeah, I'm getting there. But then Kevin told Bruno. So now Bruno has of so now Bruno has that ammunition. Please, for the love of God, Bruno, spill it. Because something He's going to. He's going to fight. Somebody needs to wake William the fuck up that Kevin does not give a shit about him. (laughs) Oh, I mean, it's like he's cockmatized. Just... It would be dickmatized, see, because that would sound like (laughs) hypnotized. Or probably how you would say it, (laughs) hermatized. I like, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with cockmatize. Uh, it's funner. It's funner to say funner. That's not a word. I know it's funner. Either is cockmatize. I think William's an idiot, and I don't care for William's game. I there's it's he it's like Ika like there's mo- a lot more moments I like Ika's game than I don't like Ika's game, but I. <laughs> When it comes to Kevin and saving Kevin, doesn't he realize? Doesn't he? Hasn't he watched Big Brother? Hasn't he seen the 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 the, bo- the bodies, the men and the women that are left behind? Kevin, mm-hmm. do you really think, William, that you're going to be the one that keeps Kevin? Absolutely not. It's a game. I think there's odds that Ika and Dimitri will stay together longer than Kevin and William. Doesn't Kevin and William that? aren't a thing. And here's the thing. Well, why does he keep saving him then? He thinks there's something's oh, going on. Oh, William. That's, that's my French accent. That's awful. Yeah. William thinks they're a thing. Here's, I know. Here's what Kevin's going to do, by the way. When the season's over, Kevin William is, is... William has saved Kevin more than I could save Dimitri. Okay, you ready? Let's role play. I would like you to be William <laughs> obsessed with me, I... Kevin, and now the show's over and you want to go on a date. Go. 
Oh, Kevin, it is me, William. I saved, I did so many plays for you. I saved your life in Big Brother. Come, let's make, let's go and run away together and uh, have wine and cheese. Thanks, bro. Um, uh, that was just game. Like, now the game's over. I was just playing a game. I thought I was clear. I never said we were a couple. Jiminy Phil! No! You, you said things to me. Hold on. Ace-10. I'm folding. You Go ahead, William. You said things to me. You, you touched me, my skin. It, it uh, did magic things to my skin. Rummy. No, no, no. Uh, I'm no, so, no, I'm playing cards. What are you, are we still talking about? Remember, Dude, not into you. Do you remember? Game. Oh, used you. <laughs> that was game. No. Never said it. Roll the tape no. back. Medicine, no. That no, was, medicine, that was called no. mouth hug. No, no, yeah. I don't accept. It's all. Medicine, no. No, ha ha, you're an idiot. Should have listened to Dre. You. I hate you, I hate you, I hate you, I curse you. Mm. Yeah. That's what he's going to do. He's going to be one of those people that are like, it was game, William. I, I didn't say we were boyfriends. Uh, We were just playing a game. It was what it was in the house. Ah. Now it's over. It's not you, it's me. Bye, bitch. Bye, bitch. <laughs> and, Girl, and bye. Why does see, William see that? I mean, even our own Johnny even said that, like, we can't really hate Kevin for what he's doing. It is a game. We see Ika doing it, and she's not getting any flack. But, oh, Kevin, ooh, he's getting flack from the gays. I mean, you know, it is a game. Because but why Ica... can't William just wake up? Why isn't Dre, and have we learned her damn secret yet? Like, I keep waiting for her secret. She doesn't have a secret. That's what we went into the season with, her secret. What's the secret? I feel like she told us what the secret was, and now I forget. Isn't it like her job or something? <sighs> Fancy Amy help us. <laughs> it's her job or something. <laughs> um, no, and by the way, what the difference is, Ika actually has feelings for Dimitri's, and she's not really been betraying him. Even Dre cares about William more than actually Kevin does. That's she's the difference. a good French beard. No. No. No, no, no. Oh, a gymnast. Christine B. I uh Christine B says it's that she's actually a gymnast. What is so secret about that? She's flexible. Uh. Um, why did William have to speak French? Why is Maximus' mom complaining about William speaking French? At least you understand him. That we're, we're, think about the rest of us, Maximus Mom. And you better be watching that show I, t I talked to you about on Twitter, The Missing. Uh, Maximus Mom is our official Big Brother, Dre, and um, William uh, French translator. Correspondent. Translator. Yeah. French She's translator. She's our French yeah. correspondent translator here at right. Reality Recap. So she doesn't have time for your other shows right now. She's busy with Big Brother Canada. Um, I do, but it's painful to understand them. It's <laughs> painful to watch them play this game horrible move after horrible move well it's painful because you know he got he got the extra veto he's i love the different things but when it comes to kevin it's because we all know kevin's using him which i think is okay but realize it and then he has moments where he does realize it and you know he wanted kevin to you know um use his veto when he had it because he wanted to backdoor somebody and kevin doesn't do what william wants and right then that should have been dead 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 to william you know what you're obviously not on my side let's just bump butts or bump fronts or whatever we want to do but uh, you know what you play your game i'm gonna play my game but we'll sleep and bump together and that's it because the newbies but he, now he's saving him and now he's doing this and it's just pissing me off because i want to just get a baguette and just shove it down his Kevin already has something down his throat. So the <laughs> the um the oh my god, I forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> mm, I forgot what I was gonna say. Now, all right, let's, he is immature. He is. He's very immature. Let's go back to now, Karen being nominated oh, and getting god, on the block. I have to go and look at the moments right after this show. Okay, so you ready? I know. I yes. was going to pull up the clip, but of course I don't have anything by me to pull it up with, so we're just going to have to reenact this out first. And lucky for you, you also only have one line in this reenactment. And it, now you're going to be Kevin, 
and I'm, I'm gonna, and I'm gonna be Karen. And your joke, your whole joke to me, is going to be, so how about that final two, Karen? Okay. And scene. Go. That's my wait, wait, that's my line? That's your line. That's your whole and I, line. And I'm Kevin. And you're Kevin and I'm Karen. Go. <laughs> How about that final two, Karen? You go fuck yourself, Kevin, you stupid fucking little twat bag dick waffle. I'm gonna fucking chop off your balls, you little ass fuck face. I'm gonna grill up your testicles and make Kevin fucking sandwiches, you fucking lion, fucking cock sucking, fuck, 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 fuck you, fuck your family. You know what your fucking mother said? She fucking said that you're playing good. So fuck you, fuck your game, fuck your mother, fuck your family, fuck you fuck this house fuck 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 that's literally what happened so you're not a fan oh i i fucking love karen but i just no, want you to know i met i was kevin talking to karen so yeah. you're not a fan oh so you're not a fan no i'm not kidding <laughs> kevin who i don't really love that much in this game really just made a joke i feel like i feel like he was just yes! trying to break the tension going so karen shucks for our final two deal i really don't think he was saying like karen took it as he was saying like <laughs> we had a final two deal in front of other people first of all the only people around were bruno and i think ika or maybe Jackie was the only person out there, and Karen lost it. Like, lost it. Like, she was like, don't you try and fucking say that we had a final two, you fucking dirtbag bastard. Your fucking mother's message to you made it real clear, you fucking asshole. And I was just like, well, this is the feeds we wanted. <laughs> Well, we don't expect it from sweet, nice Canada. So all of a sudden, it's like, woohoo! I was just like, Karen, make it. Oh, your kids are going to have to work overtime on Twitter today. So oh. does she say that at the ceremony? No, no. This is just in the backyard just a little while ago before we went live. <laughs> She's pissed because she felt like Kevin was trying to make it seem Imply like... Imply that they had a final two deal, which was a lie, and she was like, fuck you, and fuck right. you. Right, but he was yeah. just, like, trying to... I believe he was just hey, trying to break the ice. what do you think? You and I, fine, uh, the last two on the block, two of us. Yeah. I don't have a fucking final two deal with you. What the fuck are you talking about, you skinny fucking bisexual fucking butt-munching, cock-sucking son of a bitch? By the way, this show is oh, not Zach, safe you... for work. <laughs> Zach, I forgot to disclose that. Safe is, the show's not safe for work today. Oh, I can't wait. Oh. Any Karen segments are not safe for work. <laughs> we are just reporting what happened. <laughs> um, Kim needs to meet Karen. Oh, God. Celebrity Big Brother Kim and Karen would be hysterical. Oh, yeah, my God. Like, I get it. I, here's the thing about Karen. I love Karen, but this part of Karen, I can't stand. Like, immediately when the feeds came back, Karen is doing this one. I knew it. I knew the secret power was in play this week. I knew I was going up, and the secret power is in play, and I'm going home. Oh, well, Bruno, I I made it to week 42, and, or, or, week, or day 49, and when I auditioned for this show, I was 49 years old, and next week is going to be 4-9, so all of my horoscope numbers lined up. It's my turn, my turn to go, blah, blah, shut the fuck up. How about that one? Every week, she just complains and complains and complains. It's like, it's me, it's me, I'm going, I'm going, it's me. It's gonna be me. I knew it. You didn't know shit. <laughs> who, who goes outside and just projectile vomits like that? that She's like coming in from the spa. You can see her wet hair. She's like brushing it. It doesn't even matter. You go to a toilet bowl. Who just walks outside and is like a fucking sprinkler of vomit? What the hell was she eating? Like, I, it was like yellow. Like, it was like cream corn or something. Like, uh, is it the have not? I mean, the have not looked better than what she barfed up. Let, let me tell you this right now, John. If we make it to Big Brother Canada this year and, and you know, Liza is having her event... Uh, I will which, be super hungover, Amy. Which, which we could live stream from Liza's event. And, you know, oh all, all the house guests go there because Liza's event and is... And we could just go, but 
to the butts to the wall. Yeah, but here's my point. I'm not going to be and anywhere tequila. near Karen. I, I love Karen. I no longer trust her. Oh, well, I'll take her. At any minute, she's going to, like, camel spit vomit in your face. I'll sit her right here. I'll There's no warning with that one. I'll just I'll take it right here. I'll do it. I didn't know that the conclusion of, oh, it's cold outside, was going to be a projectile vomit. Well, I love the fact that she was so hungover just trying to eat something. <laughs> you know, and you just, oh, I've been I hungover. I will wear, like, some sort of, you know. I was that hungover after Easter. Yeah. I, mm. I, I, will, I refuse to be around Karen if she's drinking is what I'm like, trying to let you know right now. I insist on being around Karen when she's drinking. <laughs> well, you two have fun. <laughs> I will carry a big bag. I will. I'll catch it. Who's that guy that smashes the watermelons? And then all the people in the row, front row have to the have comedian, the big sheet. The comedian? Gallagher. Everybody Gallagher. has to have the big plastic sheet. That's going to be mm -hmm. me if I'm around Karen. Like, when we interview Karen, I just want to hold up a big plastic sheet and put the microphone around it. Are you good, Karen? How's we'll just wear, like, those things that you wear at Niagara Falls. Like, those ponchos. Those plastic ponchos. And I'm not kidding. I think we should. <laughs> yeah. I think we should wear the ponchos <laughs> when we interview yeah. Karen. Mm -hmm. I will bring one. I'll bring some from Seattle. They're cheap here. I'll bring a couple of them. Well, our money. And we'll do it as a, and we'll do it as a joke. Well, by I don't the... trust you, you BB Can Five Season. You guys are a bunch of pukers and hungover and sweaters and pokers and. Well, yeah. Hey, look. I don't trust you. I don't. I can't. I can't get any itching or anything. No, no juices. No it, sharing of things. It may be cheaper in Seattle, John, but our money is worth much more in Canada. Oh, that's true. They may have free health care, but my money is worth more. Uh, oh, my God. <laughs> I am sick and twisted. Says, John, bring the barf bag from the plane. Woohoo! That's what I'm doing. Two. That's what I'm going <gasps> to grab all the bar. I'm going to grab like five barf bags from the plane. <laughs> You know what? I think that is a genius idea. And genius. As everybody knows, I'll just interject this in here as well. Um, we're doing things differently this year at Reality Recaps. Like normally we give away the prizes each week to the um when the people come on and stuff. This year we're waiting to the end of the season so we can get everything uh on finale day, everything signed. However, I usually ask people what they want to have signed, and I think a barf bag for Karen. Oh my! Is brilliant, God. and I will it's, say this. I will say this since I'm sick and twisted. Came up with the idea. I'm sick and twisted. You're getting an autographed Karen barf bag. Absolutely. Yourrealityrecaps.com/slash/prizes. You can but fill we're going to have a few autographed, but sick and twisted, oh, yes. you, uh, you, you've just earned it. You've just earned the yes. good one. So, um, yes, we'll have about five things signed from each person at the end of, yeah. uh, on, after finale night. Uh, yay, Teresa, he brought Kevin in there too. Uh, 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 Karen's interview. Yes, Maximus' mom. Uh, so I think that Karen insane. Karen insane, Karen crazy. I don't think she will go if she keeps her mouth shut. Right now, everybody still wants Bruno gone. But if Ke if Karen keeps going on this woe is me, I knew it, it's the end, my game is over, annoying the shit out of the house, she's going to end up going. Yeah, or here's the thing. Last week she's like, Oh, if I had to if I had to vote with emotion, it'd be Jackie. If I want to do strategically, and then once it comes down to her, freaks out, turns into a a, a, a fucking nut, which we all know but the worst kind. She's been the best kind so far. And, you know, she needs to be quiet because Karen's the one you want to take to the end with you. She hasn't done anything. Like, if you had to put your resume <laughs> in the house against hers, you'd probably win, right? That is the only At play. This point? Yeah. That is the only play Karen has, by the way, of the people in the house right now. That yeah. is the only move that Karen can make. The problem is, aside from Ica 
and I don't think she's vo vocalizing it that much. <coughs> Nobody else is realizing that. And if they were smart, they would. Karen, at this point, is the one you take to the end. She's the Victoria, a loud mouth, old, white, cussing, Why she gotta be white? Victoria. What did she say? Why she gotta be white? <laughs> Why well, does white factor in? <laughs> because Karen's white. Victoria's. Not white. She's, uh, no, she's... she's <laughs> he eats I think she's Armenian, isn't she? I yeah. don't know. <laughs> she's Dil gorgeous, but she's not white. Anyway. Um, They need <laughs> to let her rant, and then she'll yeah. be okay. I mean, in, in all honesty, the more she rants and annoy people is technically just more of a reason why people should be bringing her to Final Two, because she's annoying the shit everyone. My point is... Most of these house guests don't seem smart enough to realize that at this point. Yeah. And Maximus, Mom, I agree with you. I think Karen is trying to play, which she does. She's saying Victoria didn't play, but I'm saying Karen has the same resume Victoria has. She hasn't had any big great moves, so you know she's technically you want to bring someone like that with you. Now, before we get, you know, I know we're going to be wrapping up pretty soon. My cooking shows tomorrow. I don't know what I'm making. What should I make? Would you want the people to tweet you or you want patrons to put it in the patron group? Both. Okay, well, people tweet John at Comedy Jonah. Uh, oh my, that's a no, good point. No, I'm not. <laughs> you set yourself oh, up for that one. Hell no, Steffi. Hell You set no. yourself up for that one. They want gyros. <laughs> I want gyros. <laughs> Oh, for no. for those of you that don't know, um, John on I Tuesday nights at eight p.m. Eastern, he cooks um a recipe live with you guys while talking reality TV. Why did I even ask? Why did you I'm even ask? Back, what? I'm, back, I'm making gyros tomorrow. John is now making gyros tomorrow. He gyros it is. Gyros it is tomorrow, 8 p.m. Now, how are you going to work that into reality TV? Is it going to be um, uh, RuPaul's Drag Race Queens gyroing on the <laughs> runway? I'll be gyroing on the camera. Andrea okay. Belke gyrates her way to the win this week. Uh, you can use gyrate. Here's the only gyroing I'll be doing. Oh, please don't do that on the show. <laughs> so John will be um, John, John cooking, cooking to me with you guys. He gives you the recipe ahead of time. You can cook along with him live. Talk reality I'll find TV. It. If you're a patron, you get the recipe ahead of time in the patron group. Patrons get the recipe ahead of time in the patron group. Everybody so you else, gotta sorry. Be a patron. You gotta be a patron. You know, John, for the first time ever, because what? I really want us to be able to go to Canada and do New York City, I did what? something I never do yesterday. Did you, I did, you sold yourself? I did. I, actually, all I sold reality recap. Basically, what I said, oh. I, I only told all the behind-the-scenes spoilers and all the behind-the-scenes gossip from the event. I only told it to the patrons. And normally, Good. I would tell it on a show. Yeah, good. But we need to get to Canada. <laughs> we do. So, sorry, become a patron. You're out three guests. Yeah, and you. especially you're going to see, you know, the, the sloppy behind the scenes with all the house guests at Eliza's party. And then you're going to get us the professional in the backyard. So you're getting two shows, essentially, right? Liza's <laughs> show will be live. Liza's event <laughs> will be actually finale night. And that will be live. Yeah. The um, interviews will not... Are the next day. Are the next day. Uh, we do not know if those will be live. We are at CBS... Uh, CBS. We are at Big Brother Canada's mercy if they will let us do them live. When, uh, we didn't, when I did season three with Dana, we didn't do them live. But last year... And last year we didn't do them live. So I'm going to go with they're not no. live, but they'll be up the next day. But here's the thing. They'll be up the, the next day. But here's the thing. Liza's party is finale night and the whole cast goes to Liza's party. Mm -hmm. So that will be live. So much fun. And then we're always invited to Niagara Falls too. 
you'd push me over a waterfall, so I'm not going to Niagara Falls with you. Um, you do too much. I would, I would have a couple years ago, but not now. Oh, that's the first. Oh my God, this was such a good show. I told you you're mildly good looking, and you acknowledged that I do everything. <laughs> I wouldn't kill you. <laughs> that you wouldn't you kill do. me because I do too, do too much. <laughs> such a good show for us. We bonded. Mm -hmm. It took four years <laughs> of being together, and we did it. <laughs> Book Niagara Falls fast. The rooms are going fast. I know, Christine. I don't think we would really go to Niagara Falls, but yes, Christine B. I know I need to contact you about rooms and stuff soon. Um, being a patron is awesome. Thank you. We really appreciate it. So, um, final thoughts. Uh, do you think Bruno's going, or do you think Karen is going to end up being the one going, John? Listen emotionally and strategically well not emotionally i like bruno i love bruno's family i got to meet them all when i covered season three for your reality recaps but if i was in the house with bruno bruno would have to be voted out he would win over a lot of people in there he needs to go i would keep karen i think if karen doesn't shut her mouth she, she would annoy the crap out of me emotionally and i would vote her out so it's really a toss-up and I agree with you, just not for the same reasons. I, I think Bruno can win in the end of mm -hmm. the game, but yeah. I think keeping him in right now leaves a bigger target in the house that would keep yeah, I other I think Kevin is safe. another target. I think, yeah. What is Kevin without Bruno? Exactly. Then he would have to even get even closer to William. Yeah. Don't do that. <laughs> Feeds without Karen would be death. I agree. Like, I know. That house without Karen. Um, yeah, I agree with Kansas and Amy. There's already enough targets left. Yeah, you can. There's so many more. And I don't think we're even going to even see an attempt on Dimitri and Ika until there's the next double eviction. I'm sorry. I'm sick and twisted says Karen seems a little more sane at the moment. Did you not watch the reenactment 10 minutes ago from an hour ago? Okay, so get the screen name is sick and twisted. Okay, got it. <laughs> okay, got it. Noted. Whom I love, by the way, and I love We Karen. all love him, sick and twisted. <laughs> um, Kevin is now William's lunch meat. Okay. Oh, she means right now on the feeds. Currently, oh, yeah. she has seemed to have calmed down a little bit. Okay, oh, like, live what? up to the minute breaking news. Uh, maybe the DR gave her some drugs. They should. They should just be like, here's a little Xanax water. Oh, oh. oh, yeah, that's right. I wouldn't give her anything. Right in your lap, right in your lap. What? right in your lap um bb theater is in moments oh thank you nat if anybody wants to go back and watch our bb theater uh it's been saved in moments and share it on you now i'm can't wait to see how many people are going to love that i said the phrase fuck your mother <laughs> awesome but you know you really brought out the the, the profanity side of both i didn't of us. say it karen did I was being Karen Karen. really brought it out. As a matter of fact, what if I was being smart, what I would have done, what I would have done, come here, come here, Shelly. If I was smart, I would have done this. Say your mother! <laughs> should have brought out Shelly's weave. That's what I should have brought out. <laughs> oh, that's right, Shelly's weave. I remember that show. Oh, Shelly. Oh, Shelly. Um, they need it bleeped. Well, how Canadians say I love you. How do Canadians say I love you, Jackie? That's a great way to end the show with the way Canadians say I love you. Maple syrup? Maple syrup. Eh? You survived the bear attack? Eh? Over the falls in a barrel? Oh, je t'aime. Je t'aime. That, that's the way the French people say it. Uh, it's French Canadian. Oh, F your mother. <laughs> and F your mother. No, she, what, she, she, mean, she was what? saying F your mother is. <laughs> in, in all honesty, Terrence is here. And bless his mother who passed away. But ever since she did, it's just what we say for everything. He'll be it's in one hour, Maximus Mom. Yes, it's in one hour. The show is on in one hour. So it's not my fault. I can't be blamed. 
I've been your mothering it for the past hour and a half. Well, it's normally on at nine. Don't we normally do these shows an hour later? Yes. An hour? I, yeah. and, and as I tweeted out and told you on the phone, we're doing it at 7 p.m. tonight because I have company here tonight to help us fix the website. It's also why I will not be live tweeting the show tonight, but you are all welcome to hang out at yourrealityrecaps.com slash chat at 9 p.m. I'm sure Becky, Becky... <laughs> I'm sure Steffi <laughs> and Amy will be there. Uh, I know um, there's usually a bunch of people that are always there, but you guys can hang out and chat at yourrealityrecaps.com slash chat. Meanwhile, myself and technical support are going to work on seeing if there's a way that we can make the website uh, speedier. Yay! Fun time so make sure <laughs> make sure you guys come back tomorrow night 8 p.m to watch john's cooking show yes uh wednesday night we'll have another big brother show i'm trying to get emily on so we might have emily on on wednesday thursday is 100 percent gary and i'm not gonna say who's on friday but stay tuned for friday uh, and yourrealityrecaps.com slash bbcan for everything. Yourrealityrecaps.com slash bbcan is where you guys can find all of our Big Brother Canada content. So you guys all check that out. John, where can they follow you on Twitter? You can follow me everywhere at Comedy Jonah. And, of course, you can follow me at Reality Recaps. You can become a, a patron for exclusive content. You can make a one-time donation at yourrealityrecaps.com slash PayPal. And we will see you guys all soon. And bye for now, everybody. Bye, everybody. <laughs>